I almost forgot, I have to add the uh, animation in. So the animation that I'm using in this scene is called idle. So because it's idle, I kind of forgot because it doesn't look like it really matters, but it kind of does. Because you have to know if you're adding some kind of animation, it's not idle uh, so that it shows up. So I basically typed in, I knew what it was called because I only have two or three probably in my storyboard. I click on it, I drag it in. Now it's still not in. So what I have to go is, you see underneath here, there's an animation click, click, click on that, click idle. And then you're going to see this drop. Be careful because this will drop where the play ed is. So let's say it's there. And let's just press play. So now you see it moving. Okay. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to just re-go re -go to the top here. Click on the camera. All right. Make sure you click on the camera. And I'm press the space bar. So now I'm going to see what it looks like with, or is it this one? I was getting mixed up. So there you go. It's the top one. So you see the movement. Now you see the movement. Before I didn't have it. And it kind of messed up my camera. So I would refix my camera. Normally, put your animation first before you do your camera keyframes. All right. Now it's pretty easy to fix, really. So let's do it together. So under transform for my camera you see I have this I'm going to delete that and I am going to go back in my cinema camera actor and you know I've gone all the way in oops I'll just disable this make sure it's active you have to turn that off if ever and I wanted this, oops, I'm going to move over like this. And let's just go like that. And now I have to actually add the keyframe. So let's double check what it looks like with the fix. It's not perfect, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to leave it. You see the character slightly moving. So I had forgotten that in part of my other video. So just uh, keep that in mind. Put the animation in before you do the camera frames. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. So... This is my second scene, so I'm happy with this. So what I'm going to do is, again, save. And now I'm also going to render. Now it remembers the render from last time. So what I think is easiest is just delete it. Again, click sure you click save. Go. You'll know if it worked because you're going to see the new uh, thumbnail, which is the la last thing you click. So I'm going to now drag this over. I'm going to click on this. I am going to again have to add the anti-aliasing and I usually either two or and four or three and five if there's lots of animation. Spatial sample content, my understanding is if there's uh, movement and so on, uh, you know, you just basically, it looks better. You can experiment and do one to one, but to save time, just trust me, it works. Okay. Again, output. So last time we sent this to, um, yeah, see, the, the, look at the queue here. Like, good luck finding that. So remember what I said last time, really, really critical that you go to your folder. Now, we already sent stuff to scene one. So we're going to right-click, create new. We're going to call it scene two. And you just keep going like this, okay? And so I'm going to click that. I'm going to open it, select folder. So it's going to send my, my 300 photos into that folder, okay? And I'm going to click accept. And let the render queue run. Again, you might want to save before. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now. Save all just in case because it loves to crash, especially on older computers. So we're going to render local. And uh, there you go. So now we're waiting for that to be done. Okay. And basically, you just keep doing your scenes one after another. And my recommendation is go and edit them in Premiere Pro right away. Save your project. Bring them in and kind of tweak as you go. All right, if you have any other questions, please let me know.